Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to import a PowerPoint into Lectora Online using our new and improved PowerPoint import functionality. So here I am in Lectora Online on my dashboard. I'll go ahead and hit import PowerPoint here and browse for my PowerPoint, which is going to be this one here about fishes. So we'll go ahead and pull my fish facts. I can change my project name here if I so choose, but we'll go ahead and import it as so. Um, and then we get some different options for how the PowerPoint will be imported into Lectora. So we can control the width that it's going to import out, whether that be the standard Lectora width of like 1009 pixels. Um, and then Lectora will calculate the height of it based off the aspect ratio, because keep in mind, most PowerPoint slides are either 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Um, and so we'll just size things appropriately there. You can't keep the actual PowerPoint size if you so choose, but then you also have this ability to set a full custom width and height. So you can really make it however big you want it to. Um, that's what I'll do. Um, I like the size of this 1280 width, so I'm going to leave that there and just hit maintain aspect ratio there for it to calculate the height for me. Um, now you do have the option to select which transitions you want to include. We do have better support for those with this um, new and improvement. Um, but for me, I'm going to keep no transitions, but you could have it import as supported or remap to support transitions if you so choose, but mine doesn't have any transitions in it to begin with, so I'm just gonna keep it at no. Um, I also kind of skipped over this, but you do have the ability to import image tables as images. Um, if you don't select this, basically what's gonna happen by default is your tables will come in as actual tables that you can edit within Lectora. This is something really cool that we've added to this feature. Um, then you also have this ability to set a bunch of advanced options here, so that could be your image format, um, or you know the PowerPoint style advance that we've always included where you can advance by spacebar or enter. I'll leave that on for now. And just how groups of shapes are handled as well. So I'll go ahead and hit OK here. And now this is going to import our PowerPoint. Now utilizing PowerPoint as a you know kind of a base for your course is a pretty powerful thing to do for your organization because you have a lot of SMEs and other people that will be able to build content for you in PowerPoint that wouldn't be able to build in Lectora. So basically now you can take that content and throw it in here and any ILTs that you might have that have PowerPoints associated with them, you can now convert those to e-learning pretty swiftly here. Um, so now you see we have all five of our slides here. So it's a pretty short course here on uh, fish facts, uh, but I can go in here and maybe change stuff into interactions or you know, add other interactions to this. I could also set it up to be published by SCORM, include an assessment, those types of things, and convert it into full-fledged e-learning. Um, I'm not going to take time to do that now, but um, it does give you a pretty good jump start with it right now. So um, hopefully you enjoyed using this feature. Please give, us a ch uh, please give it a try and let us know what you think, um, and we'll talk to you another time.